Hi, I'm Matt with Rankin Automation, and in this video, I'll be covering the basics of cylinder cushioning. Many pneumatic actuators can be very heavy, can move at very high speeds, or are simply made of materials that wear easily. To keep pistons from slamming into their end caps of their cylinders, a variety of cushioning methods are used. Pneumatic cushioning is a feature added to some actuators which slows the piston before it makes contact with its housing. In end position cushioning, a cushion spear seals with a sleeve near the end of the cylinder. When the seal is made, the path that the air normally travels out of the cylinder is closed off. So to allow the trapped air to escape, cushion cylinders are manufactured with small exhaust paths. Because these exhausts are so small, the air escapes very slowly, which creates a brief backup inside the actuator. The backup acts as a sort of pillow and cushions the piston. Another type of cushioning used in pneumatics is the shock absorber. Shock absorbers are normally implemented in situations where a cylinder is too large or moving too fast for end positioning cushioning to be effective. They work by restricting the flow of the fluid inside them. When a shock absorber is pushed, a piston inside attempts to move. In most designs, the piston has some arrangement of holes so that the fluid can flow through it. The size of the holes determines the flow and therefore determines how quickly the piston can move up and down. As a result, any object that hits the shock absorber is slowed at whatever speed the shock absorber will allow. Visit our website, rankinautomation.com, to see our wide selection of cushioned actuators, shock absorbers, and other pneumatic products.